Having a spinal cord injury, you probably use a wheelchair to get yourself around, and most people uh, within the first like couple months of having a wheelchair and using it actually fall out of it. Well, I've had a spinal cord injury since January 19th of 2015, so I've had my wheelchair for about four and a half years, and I have never fallen out of it until this last weekend. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling my story about how I fell out of my wheelchair. And if you've ever fallen out of your wheelchair, be sure to tell the story down in the comments below. If you have watched any of my videos in the past, welcome back, and if not, welcome. My name is Mason Ellis, and I upload videos to YouTube to try and help others live life just like they would have able-bodied. So if you're interested in my kind of videos, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out whenever I upload a new video. During this past weekend, I went to a campground that somebody in my family owns, and we went there for the 4th of July and we ate food. It was coming up on 5 o'clock, which was time for me to cath, so I headed to my van to cath inside my van. I deployed the ramp, and a couple months ago, I actually turned off the kneel option on the van, which basically the kneel option is whenever you deploy the ramp, the uh, van will squat down so that the ramp isn't as steep. But I'm always in my power chair, so I didn't think I would need that option on. I basically turned it off because it uh, always took it a while to get all the way down, and I didn't like going on it until it was all the way down. So I turned the kneel option off, and whenever I deploy the ramp, as soon as the ramp hits the ground, it's done, and I can go up or down the ramp. However, what that means is that the ramp is a lot steeper than it would be if the kneel was on. So I headed to the van and deployed the ramp, and the kneel was off, so the ramp was kind of steep. But the end of the ramp was deployed in a muddy area, so I had to go through that to get to the ramp, and that caused uh, mud and dirt to get on my wheels. So whenever I would try to go up the steep ramp, um, it would start spinning my wheels and I couldn't get traction. And the first time I went up there, it was like turning left and right like this and I just kept going forward and I finally got up there. So I went ahead and catheterized and then like an hour later I was getting too hot so I decided to go to the van and turn the van on to get some AC going so I could cool down. So I headed to the van and I deployed the ramp with my key fob and while I was going to the van, I decided that this time I would try going up the ramp backwards because my wheelchair normally uh, seems like it works better if I go backwards up something that I struggle going up frontwards. Yeah. So I got up to the ramp and I turned around and I started backing up and everything was working fine. So whenever I was going up to the ramp, I reclined my wheelchair back like this, uh, which basically uh, lifts the front of my seat up and uh, moves my back back a little bit. And I did that so that way the uh, weight would be evenly distributed so it wouldn't all be in the front if I was backing up the wheelchair. Well, I got about halfway up the ramp or three quarters of the way and then my wheels started spinning and I couldn't go anywhere so I let go of this uh, joystick and that made my wheels stop. And as soon as my wheels stopped, I started leaning forward like this and the back end of my wheelchair was coming up off the ground. And my body started leaning forward like this and I was trying to think in my mind whether I should go forward or go backwards because I know that common sense tells me that in a manual wheelchair if I'm like leaning back if I move the top of my wheelchair's back like this the front end of the wheelchair will go down preventing me from going all the way back and hitting my head on the ground. But this was like backwards because I was backing up and the back end of my wheelchair was coming up and I didn't know whether I should go forward or go back so I just kept it the way it was and just uh, le left it in the middle. And so I started leaning forward and the back started coming up and before I knew it I was pretty much on the ground. So I started leaning forward like this and I think I uh, basically just put my arm out like this to catch myself whenever I would fall because uh, really the only thing that hurt after I fell was my wrist and thumb on my right arm. So I stuck out my hand like this and I'm assuming my right fist hit the ground first followed by my right knee because it's the one that uh, had like mud and stuff on it. So basically I hit the ground with my wrist 
and then I hit the uh, ground with my right knee, and then the rest of my body just came down with all the weight, and I knew there was no doubt in my mind that that wheelchair was coming down right behind me. So as soon as I got on the ground, I like went like this to try and block the wheelchair, even though it's like 350 pounds. I went like this, and my wheelchair wasn't there. Like it was uh, where it was supposed to be. It was still on the ramp, so I was really surprised and glad that my wheelchair didn't fall on top of me because if it would have, I would have probably definitely broke something or definitely been injured a lot worse than what I was. So after I realized that my wheelchair was still on the ramp, um, I kind of rolled myself over off of my uh, front and side onto my back and um, I only yelled once for help and I was like, um, I was like, I need some help getting up or something like that. But apparently nobody heard me yell and like I said, I only yelled once, and after that, um, I didn't hear anybody say anything, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to gather my thoughts here and figure out what the heck happened and try to get my breath back because I think it knocked me out of breath, and I was just trying to gather my thoughts, and then I saw somebody's like uh, legs under this, wheel under this uh, vehicle like walking toward me, and so... Um, I thought it looked like my mom, and I didn't want my mom to see an empty wheelchair sitting on the ramp um, and then see me laying there on the floor, so I was like trying to get her attention. So I was saying, Mom, and she like came around the corner and I said, I need some help, and she started freaking out and got my dad, and uh, they got me back in the wheelchair. But after I was back in the wheelchair, uh, like I said, really the only thing that hurt was my right wrist and right thumb um, because I think that's where I tried to catch myself whenever I fell. So the fall didn't really hurt me, it just more or less frustrated me and uh, surprised me because I wasn't expecting it. So that's actually the first time I've ever fallen out of a wheelchair and like I said, I've had my wheelchair for four and a half years or a little more and I've never fallen out of the wheelchair and I actually don't wear my seat belt in my wheelchair um, anymore I just wear that whenever I'm driving my van um, so I actually didn't have my seat belt on whenever I fell out of my chair and I'm kinda glad I didn't because if I would have um, I'm afraid that that wheelchair would have went down with me so uh, I'm glad that I didn't have the seat belt on and I'm glad that the wheelchair didn't fall down on me, and I'm glad I didn't hurt anything um, more than just my wrist and thumb, which are doing a lot better now. So if you use a wheelchair, I'm sure you've definitely fallen out of yours, and I'm glad I got my first one out of the way, because now I basically know what to expect, because I didn't know what to expect uh, whenever it would happen. But uh, I was just glad somebody was around to help me get back up, and that I didn't break anything. So if you've fallen out of your wheelchair before, be sure to tell the story down in the comments below, and be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Also be sure to check out my other videos if you haven't yet, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of videos, and I will see you in the next video.